Hi everyone! Today's video is a little bit departure from the stuff that I usually do, however it's a space theme so I thought you might find it interesting. I was approached by the publishers of a game called Bang On Balls to see if I was interested in featuring their game on my channel, given that recently they have added a brand new Space Race Chronicle to their game. I'm gonna ra say right from the beginning that I'm not a really a big fan of, of platformers, but given it was space themed I thought to give it a go. Four hours later, when I finally got up from my computer, I was realized just how much fun it was. Bang On Balls is a game that is probably most appropriately titled Game on Steam, as it is just that, a mind-numbing and extremely fun and enjoyable platformer where you take the role of a ball and hop around the map doing various missions, banging on other balls and collecting items in a beautifully themed, wacky 3D environment that will make you, f make you forget about the passage of time. To make things even better, you can do it in up to 4 player co-op multiplayer. The game itself released 3rd of March in 2021 and their latest chronicle, The Space Race, landed few days ago and during that time the game is on Steam discount for 30%, so if you hurry up you just might catch it off price. If you want to take the short version of this review, then the game is absolutely worth us its asking price and if you like platformers, go buy it. It's that simple. Still with me? Good. The tutorial is pretty good at giving you the ropes as to how to play the game and after that you start in a warehouse without any sense of direction. However, everything is simple and intuitive and it is not long before you will be hopping around castles, banging vikings, jumping around rockets and whatnot. I have mostly played the viking and the space race themed levels and I enjoy them thoroughly. The space race has two parts, the US with the Saturn V Rocket and the Russian with Soyuz, either which you can choose to play at your leisure. I went to explore the Russian side a bit more as I found it more fun to jump and bang all over comrades and preparing the aforementioned Soyuz rocket for the launch. I actually like banging on comrades, so oh, that's kind of fun. I will not mention more details about the space race to avoid spoilers, but given that I'm a not a fan of platformers and my longest time with a platformer to date was around 4 minutes, the fact that I have played this one for more than 4 hours before I had to go to bed because it was middle of the night, I think it says enough. If you like platformers, you will love this game. If you don't like platformers, you just might like it. So I sure did. So, thank you very much for watching and if you're thinking about buying it, go check it out on Steam. The link will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.